Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Stellaris. So, quickly, I went ahead and did some deals, which are great. I also decided to modify. So we're modifying the Dabax, giving them communal and thrifty. We're modifying the humans, giving them communal and charismatic. Uh, the Zaxoids, the couple Zaxoids that migrated back that never got... Uh, genetically modified, they're getting genetically modified. And then the weakness, they're getting thrifty, agrarian, industrious, communal, and removing non-adaptive. So that'll be good. That will be good. It'll take time, obviously, but we haven't seen anything interesting coming out of society research for a while, so I figure, eh, let's do some of this other stuff, you know? Make something else happen. Hopefully, hopefully that's what we need. We'll see. Uh, in the meantime, you guys, go chill. Maybe we can turn on social welfare again. We'll see. How are you guys doing? Eric Faitons, not a problem. 2.1% chance to gain 10% support per month. Most everyone's a loyalist. Now that the... The other guys are dead. Most everyone's a loyalist, so it all works out. So looks like we are doing this one at a time now, which is fine. Uh, we'll be out for what 50-ish months. Again, that's that's largely fine. Don't really need to to worry about it. Construction complete. We have these guys, but there's not a lot we can do to make them like us right now. It's just going to take time. More than anything, it's just going to take time. So. Oh, these are the migration treaties? These are probably migration treaties coming to an end. That's fine. No to problem. Here, have some more minerals. <laughs> Enjoy. How are we doing over here on our synth world? Surface says... Not bad. Not bad. All right. All right. And so, double check. We won't be for another, what, 10 years or so? Uh, no. Five years. In five years, we'll be able to do stuff. That'll take quite a lot of time, Zoo. We do have ant we have zero point reactors now. We do have zero point reactors. Are we working on something else? Yeah, particle lance. Probably not gonna use it. It just sounds really freaking cool. Gonna be honest. It does actually quite a bit of damage, and it has complete armor penetration. Actually, it might be better than using like the the UV or X-ray lasers. I don't know if it's better than gamma ray. But the high end is 213. Yeah, research it. That's, that's the best you got. Arid and desert. I don't remember if we started building the colony ships. I think we did. We probably did. If not, eh. If so, yay. I imagine probably not because we haven't done anything. Oh, probably because we don't know uh, where there might be maybe extra people. All right, Particle Lance coming through next month, probably. There it is, Particle Lance. Tachyon Lance. Whoa, that does quite a bit. Focus Arc Emitter. I kind of want the Ion Disruptor just to upgrade our Ion capabilities, actually, because this is really good against shields. We need some anti-shields, and that is anti-shield tech right there. The signal or, eh, originates from the remains of an antenna-like structure. The exploratory probes were dispatched from the wrecked tier to the surface to investigate the matter more closely. What science officer Boki found was a cavernous vault that will easily pry it open. It was evidently the last safe house and refuge of some long-dead race of aliens. While reasonably technologically advanced, it seems they never reached for the stars and perished in some planet-wide natural disaster. The vault is immense, housing thousands upon thousands of black boxes 
that the wrecked tier has determined to be data storage devices. Situation cool. I think we will have to wait for other this, this other stuff to finish. But once this does finish, then we'll be able to go over to In Limbo and figure that out. It's fantastic, though. I'm happy about that. What's up? Right, campaigns. And the Separatists are gone. Slavers are in. Separatists are gone. Do we have see, Zaxoid? Do we have any Mutatus? If we can get a Mutatus into office? And yeah, we don't. If we could, uh, that would be fantastic because they just live like until 300. So, <laughs> you know, the Mutatus that would be elected into office now, even if they were age 100, or maybe even 150, they would still be in office come like 2400 or 2500 they'd still be alive and available to, to go into office. So if we could get a Mutatus, that would largely secure uh, the office for the future. Income Not very country. realistic goals, but you know, whatever. What's up? Yeah, I guess. The Holy Covenant. I mean, we, we are kind of like in a federation together so I yeah whatever we should have the next level of flak right yeah we have flak artillery System survey complete. go ahead and slow it down so the game's not quite so slow moving oddly enough so where are you we have a particle lance or gamma laser so large 42 to 76 or 74 to 213. Granted, this is like double a cooldown, but it's way more accurate. And has huge range. Wow. The range, though. Okay. And that does armor penetration, so you just got to break the shields. So hang on. We can put one large in the back, and what would that do for the... The slots, they're all 2 one, 3 Yeah, we'll do this instead. So put a Particle Lance, Particle Lance, Particle Lance. So it's three Particle Lances. I still maintain the flak is necessary. Uh, Maybe not. It's, I don't know. It's less necessary because you're going to be so far away. Five Particle Lancers. Disruptors, medium, range 30. We need something that's like range 60. That's medium. I guess maybe missiles? Ah, boy, I don't know. Range 30, energy siphon, range 30. Armored torpedoes, range 50. Okay, that's about as close as we've come. Range 30, yeah, I mean, it's... Unless we want to just slap something else on there, armor torpedoes is what we've got. Uh, which is kind of sad. I kind of want to do... What's the gamma ray laser? 25? Ah. Disruptors are 30. You know, we'll put disruptors on. In the chance they get close enough to use the disruptors, I think the disruptors would be fantastic. And we don't... We can't get countered by point defense. Wow, 500. How much energy does this take? Wow, 100 per. Jeez. Well, 60. How much do you produce? 30. Wow. It takes that much power to use particle lances. Jeez. Our armor is where it's at, because that's all we've got, is the armor. With 500 shields, and a lot of armor. My goodness. What about regenerative hull tissue? We slap this on instead of one of the armors? Maybe instead of two of the armors? Yeah, because that way we're regenerating 4% per month of hull, which I think is arguably worth it because of 
uh, sh if, if they use, well, like a particle lance, our armor doesn't matter. Our shields matter, but our armor does not. So, that's our new battleship. Unless we can do a, something that's, that's a lot more singularity core. Ooh, that uses entirely large. Don't even have to worry about the thrasher core. Particle lances. Bam. All right. 40. Produce 30. So that's 20 extra. How much do these shields cost? Uh, small. It's 15. Well, that's more hyper shields. Or it's 12.5. What about uh, large capacitors? 50. It leaves us with 5 excess power. We have some hole regeneration. Not as much as we did before. But we have one more lance. These things are just strictly long range annihilators. I mean, what what else could you call them with the particle lances like that? That's crazy. Wow. Up your chance to evade, or what's this? Fire rate and weapon damage? I think we go fire rate and weapon damage here. It's just full out. Like, you're not, don't even care about getting a hit because you're supposed to be sitting so far back, nothing's gonna shoot at you. So, here's hoping that the advanced aggressive combat computer with its 20% increased fire rate and 20% increased damage is going to make this 105 damage per second on average. Wow. Alright. I like that. I mean, I feel like one pass just immediately destroys like a Corvette instantly. Maybe even instantly destroys a destroyer, for that matter. I mean, how much health do you think these things have? Arguably, one pass from the battleship could destroy a destroyer. Wow. That is brutal. Now, you guys have range 8, but I don't know when they're being used. Uh, do we have any more hangers? No. And no. Okay. Okay. So you guys, on the other hand, are going to be more conventional, gamma laser focused. Uh, you've still got your point defense, which is useful. Absolutely. You've got your bomber wing. You've got your level 3 bomber wing, actually. Does 22 compared to your 19. So there you go, level 3 bomber wing. I like the defensive combat computers. I mean, you've got some range. Uh, but nothing large. I mean, all you've got is medium, range 25. You're going to get in pretty close and probably take some hits. So we're going to need... That actually works perfectly without having to change anything else. This actually works perfectly. So if we added this, how much power would we have? 20? Because uh, we could get another hyper shields. No. We'll leave it as is. We'll leave it as is. Zerzer, you have been upgraded with gamma lasers. The destroyers need to be upgraded. You can't have large. You actually can't have large. Uh, but you're getting in close range here. So the destroyers will be even ahead of the cruisers. They're going to need maybe even the first level of point defense. I mean, we could do point defense. It's range 8. So it really is like close range and nothing more is what it is when it comes down to it. Go ahead and do zero point reactors. We have 10 excess power. It's not really enough. I don't know. Because you can engage from 25, and then they, you really open up at 15. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not overly a, a big fan of it. Other than the Hope Breaker gives us more utility slots, but I don't know that it really matters. I guess we'll just leave it as is for now. Other than the fact that we have extra power, we can we can just drop out the cold fusion actually, and that's just fine. But I just I wish there was something. Maybe we can do instead. How about disruptors? We can throw disruptors in there. These are longer range, right? No, they're shorter range. They're 20 versus the 20. No, they're longer range. They're good. We can pop in some shield breaking devices on our destroyers. That if we do that, the destroyers start cracking the shields right away. Now they don't do a ton of damage outside of that. So maybe we want something that's like really good against armor. Yeah, armor penetration, like the plasma accelerators. So that way we have the plasma accelerators that'll penetrate armor. Uh, but the the bulk of it is to crack their shields. Sh or should they be using them? Crack their shields. 25 excess. Now we only have 5 excess. And then regenerative hull tissue. May as well get a little bit of regeneration in there. So you crack the shields. Uh, and then you can do some damage past that. For these guys to then lay in. Absolutely lay into to the opposition. With their small gamma lasers. Which has armor penetration. That's what? 2.95 average damage. Why not plasma accelerators? 2.45. 2.95. That's why. Although it's 50%. That's 100%. So that just straight up penetrates any armor they have. Mining drone laser, armor penetration. Cloud lightning, half armor penetration. I go to plasma accelerators, I guess. You know, we want to break, break their shields so the plasma accelerators can get through to do max damage, right? And the battleships can just lay waste from distance. Again, if the shields are gone, this ship's going to basically one-shot destroyers. Possibly more. Possibly more. That That's just so many, so many particle lances. It's crazy. And then you guys, up close and personal, you want to give somebody a... Complete. A big ol' hug. But what would you give them a hug with? Incoming transmission. What can you do? A medium and a small... Let's look at the transmission real quick. I know, we're maxed on materials. There's nothing we can do about that. Sure, why not? Go ahead, return. Still surveying? Still surveying. Alright. Here, have some minerals so we're not wasting as many. Enjoy. Okay. So we can do small, medium, or three smalls. I think three smalls is probably the best. Because that keeps everything kind of at the same point. Like, you guys really want to get in there. But what do you want to use? And that I don't know. That I honestly don't know. Because um, the rail guns are fine, but they're not they're not the best. Torpedoes, we don't have like any other missiles, so largely not useful. You know, equip one disruptor and two plasma accelerators. So they really start laying in on the plasma accelerators, I guess. And on this side, we'll need, say, 
that much power to do hyper shields. I actually still have excess power. Not that much excess power. We have that much excess power. Yeah, I mean, it's... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that works. It's just a completely different design, completely reworking what we have. We should probably update our fortress design. Just have gamma lasers. Alright. 120 needed. Zero point reactors. There you go. Flat upgrade. Enjoy. I guess one thing I haven't checked, and I should. Accuracy. 82. 82. At range 15. Range 20. I mean, the plasma accelerators seem better than the gamma lasers. Basically across the board. So I think that's what we're going to use. Instead of the gamma lasers. They just don't seem viable. A little bit slower, but so what? So, anyways, that's actually going to be it for the episode. That's pretty much the entire episode right there, redesigning our fleet. My goodness. 104. It's just, there's so many, so many ships. We need to break our fleets apart across a whole bunch of systems for a mass upgrade and I think I'll go ahead and do that in between episodes and we'll have a mass upgrade session and I think that would be useful so uh, if you liked it give it a like subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends it's the best thing you can do for the channel is to share the video thank you to Amphit for being a Patreon supporter and I will see you all next time with more which one are we working on I don't know uh, with more Stellaris. Humans. Ah. I guess we'll go and let humans finish here at the end of the month. Thank you all for watching. I will see you next time. And DFTBA.